I'm Idell Kraft, and I'm working for the Board of Registration here. In when I got hooked up with Bob Moses, it was very simple. You go out through the community, you knock on doors, talk to people. The only way to, to better your life, to better the lives of your children, is to go down and register to vote. If you're not a registered voter, you're not a first-class citizen. We would tell them that if they um, registered and voted, uh, they could elect the sheriff, and that the, uh, the uh, intimidation on the part of the sheriff's office uh, and his deputies, uh, they could change that. One of the things that I always tell them is that we could stop Mr. Charlie from lynching us. You're sitting on front porches or you're walking out into a cotton field or maybe you're at the juke joint having a beer. What we were doing was embedding ourselves uh, in these communities. You have your certificate showing that you are a registered voter. They haven't given it to me yet. Well, you aren't a registered voter, no. Mr. We want you to come down to the courthouse tomorrow. Immediately, what you found out you were dealing with was fear. So why not go tomorrow? We will furnish your transportation. So that's no excuse. They would say, you're right, boy. We should be registered to vote. But I ain't going down there to mess with them white people. Do you like to go to both of these morning fun places? No. We did not get a large number of people to try and register to vote. And then within that small group of people who did try and register to vote, very few of them actually got registered to vote. Other people are standing in the courthouse. We can't see why we have to stand out here in the rain in order to register to vote. Denial of our constitutional rights. Your section of the Constitution that I choose for you is number 48. The registrar had total control over who was accepted and who wasn't. The voting form was one of the most complicated you would ever, ever have. And as part of that, each person would have to interpret a section of the state constitution. We had people who taught in colleges. We had people with PhD master degrees and all, and uh, they couldn't pass. You had to be white. No, Jennings, you didn't pass. If you see there, you didn't fill out, but just look there. You just filled out that part, and look, you didn't write anything in there. You didn't pass it. Sometimes a sheriff would walk into the room while they were taking the voting test and say, Annie Mae, don't you work for my mother-in-law? My mother-in-law would be horrified if she knew you were taking this test. Now, Annie Mae, I'll tell you, if you'll just put that paper down, I'll tear it up and I won't tell my mother-in-law. In some counties, when people went in to register why their names would appear in the newspaper the next day, that could have recriminations for all members of their family. It could mean they would lose their job. There were real consequences to, to taking this risk. It wasn't simply that you would go down and get turned away. The day-to-day -day work was canvassing. The work itself is as simple as it is tedious. We walked down these dusty red country roads in the Negro sections, go from tumble-down house to tumble-down house, and if they come out to the porch or let us in, we talk to the people. That's it. That's what we do. That's what the segregationists are trying to stop. My motivation for drawing was I wanted to make sure that I was capturing the flavor of a moment, the uh, intensity of a moment. And you are in that situation. Everything becomes memorable. The intensity of those situations become indelible. It happened to me twice in, 
in my life. One was on D-Day, and the other time was in Mississippi. The work was frustrating. There was a very small return for the number of doors we knocked on. You could see in people's faces the struggle they were going through. Many really wanted to register, but were fearful. I'm not going to register to vote because I work for a white family and I think they might fire me. Or I've heard that houses get burnt down when people go to register to vote. Or I'm worried about my kids. We were doing something very positive, but also in the backs of our minds was the negative that could befall someone we were talking to. Because the danger was real. It was absolutely real. <laughs>